andariki namaskaram i wish to begin my speech at this historic session as prajatavi batma vibhushan late shri kaloji narayana rao garu wished మూడు కోట్ల మేటి ప్రజల గొంతుకొకటి కోరికొకటి తెలంగాణ వెలసి నిలిచి ఫలించాలి భారతాన మై హార్టి కంగ్రాచులేషన్స్ అండ్ బెస్ట్ విషెస్ టు ది హానరబుల్ చైర్మన్ తెలంగాణ స్టేట్ లెజిస్లేటివ్ కౌన్సిల్ అండ్ హానరబుల్ స్పీకర్ స్టేట్ లెజిస్లేటివ్ అసెంబ్లీ and the honorable members of the legislative council and assembly my congratulations also go to the legislative assembly members who won the recently concluded elections with the people's affection and support and who have assumed their duties my congratulations to all the new ministers i am happy to see the new cabinet the cabinet is a judicious combination of experience and the new and is led by a young leader i am of firm opinion that the combination of youth and experience in the cabinet would fulfill its promises and reach its goal my congratulations to the newly formed cabinet i sincerely wish that your journey in the service of the people will be fruitful full of contentment and victorious throughout your term of the office very soon we we are assuring in new year in the new year 2023 will remain in history as the year that has brought a new beginning to telangana's journey people are experiencing the change already i am happy to inform you that the fruits of change will reach the people in full measure in the new year our government is taking steps to give freedom liberty equal opportunities and social justice to people along with making governance within the reach of each and every citizen i am sure the state will tread the path of success progress and bring light to the lives of farmers women youth and the poor people in telangana state have given a clear verdict to liberate themselves from the 10 years of repression in the recently concluded elections their message is clear and loud i appreciate the collective wisdom of the people telangana is breathing fresh air of freedom and liberty now telangana is liberated from autocratic rule and dictatorial tendencies the people's verdict unequivocally stated that it would not tolerate any repression this verdict became a cornerstone for civil rights and democratic rule the iron barricades that divided the rulers from the people have been dismantled i feel proud to say that the glass houses and the obstacles have been removed and the true people's governance has begun the honorable chief minister sri anumula revent reddy garu at the time of swearing in clearly indicated his government's aims and objectives he made it abundantly clear that in a democracy the rulers are the people's servants and they are not feudal lords our governance is moving forward and taking steps in this direction the prajavani program is the first step in this direction this is people's government and it is people's governance people can express their problems and get their grievances redressed by the government at any time now the situation is such that each and every member of society can proudly declare that this is their government our governance will soon become a role model for the entire country the telangana state was formed as per the aspirations of four crore people the supreme sacrifices of the youth and the relentless struggle struggle of students my government is on the firm view 
that elected governments should govern keeping in view the sacrifices made by people and they should act with the utmost responsibility my government's aim is to govern keeping in view the aspirations of martyrs the struggles undertaken by the students and the desire of civil society i convey that the present elected government thanks all the people parties leaders and then upa government and the then prime minister dr manmohan singh for creating a separate telangana state in 2014 respecting the decades old aspiration of people on behalf of four crore telangana people the present government thanks mr sonia gandhi the then chairperson of upa for the key role she played in the process of creating telangana into a separate state i once again pay my humble tributes through this house to the martyrs who laid down their precious lives at the time of elections we gave word to the people that we would get indrama rajyam in telangana we made it clear that there would be any there would not be any repression or dictatorial tendencies in the governance we have declared six guarantees for the welfare and development of the people in time with promises made chief minister shri revan reddy garu signed the file giving legal sanctity to the six guarantees soon after his swearing in this proved the commitment and dedication of our government my government is taken the first step along the path of welfare for the people of the state my government will stand by each and every promise it has made within 48 hours of entering the governance my government has implemented two out of six guarantees my government's aim is to make women in telangana state prosperous as mahalakshmis as part of this women are given free travel facility in the rtc buses and i am happy to inform you that this free travel scheme came into being on december 19 9th other promises made under the mahalakshmi scheme will be implemented very soon my government has a definite plan to provide better medical and health services to the poor no one should lose his life his or her life because he or she is poor my government's topmost priority is public health public health hence the government has revamped the rajiv arogya shri scheme which was implemented during the congress regime in the past rajiv arogya shri became very popular and talked about in the country i am happy to inform you that rajiv arogya shri was revised keeping in view of the increase in medical expenses and to suit to the present day needs and its serve and its services are broadened under the new rajiv arogya shri scheme the poor can avail medical facilities up to 10 lakhs my government has started the implementation of the second guarantee in this manner this is this will provide shakar to poor and middle class families to a great extent the government will lay out a definite and time bound action plan to implement other guarantees promised in the poll manifesto such as mahalakshmi scheme raitu bharosa guruha jyoti indrama houses yuva vikasam and chaitu chaita within 100 days of its governance the government is dedicated to implement each and every promise it made in the party manifesto and the government will stand by it the government is making this promise through this house as a witness let me inform people through this house that the administration is actively preparing an action plan based on the promises made in the poll manifesto we are assuring people in the state that we will implement the varangal declaration made for farmers the hyderabad yuva declaration made for youth the sc and st declaration announced in chevella and the bc declaration promised in kamar reddy and its letter and spirit in its letter and spirit very soon as promised we will identify the families of martyrs allot them 250 square yards of the houses sites and also pay them a honorarium our government is committed to provide quality uninterrupted power supply to the agriculture sector 
as promised in the declaration we will give a minimum support price for each and every crop there will be an action plan to waive the farm loans to the tune of rupees 2 lakhs as promised during the elections we will take up an action plan to give patas to the assigned lands and podo lands we have promised people that we will order an inquiry into the irregularities committed and lack of quality and corruption in the construction of the medigatta medigatta and annaram barrages of kalishwaram project our action plan will be in this direction the government is committed to protecting and getting telangana states rightful share of krishna river water our aim is to get national status for the palamuru ranga red irrigation project which is a boon to south telangana our government has decided to complete the project and make palamuru nalgonda and ranga red districts into a fertile districts our government's aim is to complete the dr b r ambedkar paramanta chavella project started in the previous congress regime and provide irrigation water to the upper reg- region of the adilabad and other districts we will impl- we will implement each and every promise we have made to the youth we will fill up the teachers post by conducting the mega dsc within the 6 months we are happy to inform you that the government has already begun the exercise to clean up the tspsc we will take steps to fill up 2 lakh vacancies within 1 year our government will soon be launching an action plan to provide house sites to the homeless and give rupees 5 lakh financial assistance for the construction of houses under the indrama housing scheme under this scheme scs and sts will get 1 lakh additional amount my government has observed that a majority of the complaints received under prajawani or land related this is the reason why during the elections we have promised that we will replace dharani portal and its place the bhumata portal which will be introduced which will be transparent and solve all land related issues i am happy to inform you that very soon an action plan will be put in place in this regard we will constitute a land commission to protect government lands the poor will be given rights to the 25 lakh acres of land distributed by the previous congress government as part of the land reform program my government has decided to take stringent measures against the use of banned drugs and narcotics in the state and to totally eradicate them the government is very keen to totally eradicate the narcotic drug menace like the elite and exclusively greyhounds and the octopus you have full time director is appointed to the telangana state anti narcotic bureau my government's action plan started is not just to control the drug ma- mafia but to totally eradicate them in telangana state there should be no mention or of or talk about the banned drugs the government is very serious about the matter as it is harming the youth and destroying their career and future i am making it very clear from the house that no one will be spared if they are accused in the drug case hyderabad is not only a capital for telangana state but also a perennial revenue resource that generates income for the welfare and development of the poorer sections of society hyderabad got this financial strength because of the previous congress led governments which developed it to reach this goal for information technology to metro rail shamshabad international airport to orr and the entire world class infrastructure was planned and developed during the congress governments hyderabad's topography would have undergone a sea change had it its itir project and announced by the then upa government in 2013 came came into being my government is now trying to bring back this past glory we have launched an action plan to clean up the musi river and turn its catchment area into an en- employment generation zone our government's aim is to develop the city in all directions my government is committed to decentralizing of development in telangana state the government is planning to divide the state into three zones 
with Hyderabad as the center, one zone in Hyderabad city, which is inside the outer ring road, and the second zone in the area between the ORR and the proposed regional ring road, and the third zone is outside the regional ring road, our government will prepare plans accordingly. Owing to the bad governance of the previous government, the power utilities are in deep financial crisis with a staggering depth of rupees 81,516 crore. They have incurred losses of rupees 50,275 crore. Similarly, the Civil Supplies Corporation has rupees 56,000 crore as debt and rupees 11,000 crore as losses. Each and every department has incurred huge debts. Loans raised indiscriminately from every corporation have pushed the state into financial mess and crisis. The entire financial discipline in the state is destroyed. There is no fiscal discipline or financial prudency. My government is focused on strengthening the derailed financial situation. We will place before the people the financial condition of each and every department by releasing white papers and show them the real facts. We will be releasing the white papers as part of transparent government that will promise to the people. To the greatest challenge before my government as on date is to improve financial situation in the state on a war footing. We are on the job to identify lacunae that took place in the financial management where wasteful expenditure is indulged in and where financial irregularities took place. Without putting a financial burden on the people, we want to bring in financial prudence and offer governments and welfare to the people. This is our government's aim and goal. In the last nine and a half years, all the institutions have been destroyed. The institutions and organizations that should work democratically have been unfortunately degraded to serve individuals. We will not augur well in a democracy where institutions indulge in individual worship. My government has decided to change this trend and situation. We will restore the core values of the legislature and executive. We have no qualm about talking constructive criticism from the opposition parties. Our government will not discriminate with regard to development. In my government, legislatures from any party can seek help and cooperation for the development of their assembly constituencies. We will usher in transparency in governance and administration. The secretariat will not be mere decorative symbol. We will respect the constitutional institutions. This is not a feudal rule. We will instill, instill confidence in people that this is real democracy. Our government will render justice to all those sections that were subjected to discrimination and oppression. The government will stand by them. We will take into consideration all sections of people, farmers, students, employees, the poor, SC, ST, BC, minorities, retired employees, martyrs families, people who took part in separate Telangana state, Telangana statehood movement, workers, etc. And, and welfare and development action would be based on these sections. The action plan with regard to the job calendar will be in tune with promises made. As far as rural development is concerned, the past government has only the confined itself to propaganda. The previous government made the elected representatives of the local bodies nominal without any power or value. It had not paid the bills for the works that they had completed and putting them to severe debts. We have seen some of these local body representatives committing suicides. We will set the situation right. The government will take each village as a unit and plan accordingly for the development. If a farmer has some money in his pocket, the village will prosper. A farmer is key to the development of a village and its progress. My government's main aim is to strengthen farmer economically, thereby making each and every village prosperous. Local body representatives will be given their due respect. We remember the wisdom of the father of the Indian constitution, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. 
democracy is not merely a form of government it is essentially an attitude of respect and reverence towards fellow men my government believes in more action and fewer words you will see this change in these days months and years to come i wish to conclude my speech with the two famous lines from the legendary poet and the freedom fighter shri dasharadi garu aa challani samutra garbham daachina bada balana mento banala mento aa nallani aakasham lo karani kanarani baskara lento baskara lentaro is okay ఆ చల్లని సముద్ర గర్భం ఆ చల్లని సముద్ర గర్భం దాచిన బడ బానల మెంతో ఆ నల్లని ఆకాశంలో కానరాని భాస్కర్లు ఎంతరు in this context let us remember and pay our tributes to all the martyrs fighters and unsung heroes of telangana and dedicate ourselves for the all round development of telangana state jai bharat jai telangana